Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get Eleanor Calder's fishtail braid, her big loose curls, and her makeup. So stay tuned and I hope y'all enjoy. Which is like a fishtail, it's also has like a twist in it, and she's been seen wearing it to events and just like it. We're in the pictures of her and Louie, like the Coca Cola pajama picture, which I will, if I can, link right here. So, to start off with that look, I am just going to part my hair slightly to the right, and then I am going to gather my hair and twist a small piece from the front back a little bit. This part is totally optional. Sometimes she does this, sometimes she doesn't. In the Coca-Cola picture that I saw, she did this. So I just twisted it back to about right here. And taking some bobby pins, I'm going to pin it down. And now I know this is a commonly used trick, but I also know a lot of people don't know. When you're putting in your bobby pin, put the side with the grooves against your hair because it'll help hold the hair there longer. Eh. Okay. So now that I have my little twist in and taking my hair, I am going to split it into two sections and do a fishtail braid. If you don't know how to do a fishtail braid, it's very simple. There's so many tutorials on YouTube that you can watch of people doing it. Basically, you take two sections, so section A and section B. You're going to take a small piece from section A and pull it over to section B and pull. And you're going to take a small section from section B and pull it over to section A. And you're going to repeat this process until you have your desired length of your fishtail braid. It's very versatile. You can wear it to, like I said, she's worn it to events before. I wear it to school a lot on like mornings when I just don't have a lot of time. So that's always really quick and easy to do. Now for this, I'm not going to bring the braid all the way down to like the ends of my hair. She normally stops like right above her shoulder. I'm going to do it just a little bit more than she did it, but not much. As you can see, I am pulling very tightly on it. Her braid part of this is very tight, but the rest of her hair is very loose, so... You want to do this part tight and you can go and loosen it up once you're done with this. Okay. <clears throat> That's about how long I want it. So just taking a small older oh, hair. Taking a small hair tie, I am going to tie it off a little bit below where I ended my braid. I'm just going to pull it a bit, pull this part, and if you want, you can straighten out this bit, or you can curl it with like a curling wand or whatever. I like to pull it a little bit make this a bit bigger and I normally just leave it like this because my hair is kind of like wavy at the end and I really like that so and this is the finished Eleanor Calder fishtail braid okay moving on so for this look, Eleanor has 
pretty much a middle part. But I'm not a big fan of a middle part in my hair. So I always just do a slight part to the right. So it's like that it still looks like a middle part. Okay. So for the beginning, I'm just going to be putting some John Frieda Frizz Ease Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream in my hair. You want to make sure, make sure, well, words, you want to make sure that you're not using a straightening frizzies type cream because then that'll take the curl out of your hair. So, I'm going to put this in my hair. I really focus on putting it up here so that your hair doesn't look frizzy after you have curled it. And also, if you have very straight hair, like pin straight, you might want to try and braid it before you do this. Which, if you do that, then I recommend twisting both front sections of your hair and then putting it into a side braid and taking it out a few later, uh, a few later later, a few hours later. And I also recommend doing it while your hair is slightly damp. So, I'm going to take both two sections of my hair and put it in for how my human. And starting with the very back section of hair, which is kind of wet now that I put this stuff in my hair. I'm going to take a section about that big. And I'm just going to wrap the end around it for 10 seconds. And hold it for a few seconds and let it fall to the back. And I am just going to repeat this step all around my hair. Like right now, I'm really obsessed with listening to One Direction again. Like, yeah, I was obsessed with that while they were still, you know, like together. Like, they're still together. They're just on breaks. I don't like saying that they're not together anymore because they're on hiatus. But, like, I'm obsessed with listening to One Direction. And I know a lot of people are. But I feel like. I shouldn't be, I should be more obsessed with them as soloist right now, but it's fine, I'm fine, and I'm waiting for Louie's whole album to come out, because I freaking love Louie. <laughs> His voice is just so calming. Okay, so now I'm going to move into the makeup section. Her makeup is very natural, very simple. Um. It really it hardly looks like she's ever wearing anything. So to start off, we're gonna start off with the face, which is just I have nothing on my face right now. It's a clean base, and I am using the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. I'm just gonna put some on my back. I'm gonna put some on my back on the back of my hand. <laughs> it's about one pump, really. One pump gives you a pretty decent size amount. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. And even on my eyelids. Now, using my fingers, I'm just rubbing it in all over. And also, if you want to, a little trick to get rid of under eye circles, this primer is literally so great. You just put it there and it, on it, it already kind of makes them go away a bit. So, if you want to do more, like I always put, just not even a full pump. 
just a tiny little bit more on the back of my hand about that much and I put it between my middle fingers and I just rub it underneath my eyes okay so next also for under my eyes I'm actually going to be using a foundation as a concealer and this is the CoverGirl in Olight Facelift Effect in Fair Claire So I'm just going to open it, and honestly, normally there's a lot on the lid, so I often just use that, and I'm going to go with my little beauty blender, and put some in my beauty blender, and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. But not a lot, because you don't want to overdo it. I'm also going to be putting some on my eyelids. I know I just put like three dots on under my eyes. Just because you really, you know, you don't want to overdo it. She's very natural makeup look. Very flawless skin, but natural. Okay. So coming in to set all of that, <clears throat> I'm going to be using my powder brush and my Fit Me Maybelline con Powder Concealer in 120. First I'm just going to go ahead and put some of that under my eyes. And really, just kind of like my T zone is where I put this. And if you want to see a full foundation face coverage video, I can do that. I'm not really putting a lot of foundation on for right now for this video because, like I said, like five, ten times now, her makeup is very natural. She doesn't do a lot with her face makeup. And I don't really normally wear a lot of foundation on the daily just because I don't. See that I don't feel that I need to, but if you guys want to see that, then definitely let me know and I can do that. I also put this on my eyelids just to like set everything that I've already done on my eyelids. Okay. Next, I'm going to be putting some blush on, and this is my blush by NYC, and it's the Color Wheel Mosaic face powder in 723A Pink Cheek Glow. And I just think this gives a very natural look. So I'll do the same brush. <laughs> just put some on my brush. And starting from the apples of my cheeks, I'm going to work my way up to the top of my ear. I'm going to very small, quick circle motions. Eleanor has very tan skin, so using my Mary Kay palette, like this. Ooh, I dropped the, some stuff. Mavi. I am going to just use both. I'm just going to like blend these both together with my big fan brush, and I'm just going to put that on my hairline very lightly dust it not overdoing it at all just on your nose if you want very quickly
and like I said, not overdoing it in the slightest. It's very quick, you're barely touching your skin. Makeup strokes, like makeup strokes. Mm, not paint strokes, not makeup strokes. Just strokes. Just very quick strokes. Mouth. I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay. So now that we are done with the face, we are going to be moving on to her beautiful eyes. Eleanor has brown eyes and she finds the perfect way to, to just like accentuate them without doing too, too much. So that being said, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm going to be first using Walk of Shame, which is, you know, this color. I'm just going to be using a fluff brush to do that. And put it all over my lids. Going up to my eyebrow. The next color I'm going to be using from the same palette is a Foxy, which is this like yellow type color. And I'm just going to be putting that on the base of my eyelid. Okay. Now going to my Revlon Photo Ready 505 Eye Palette. I am going to be using this color and a little bit of that color. So, and I'm just putting this in my crease. So I'm in light circles working into the corner of my eye. Harvey. Going back to my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, I am going to be taking a shadow edge brush <laughs> and I'm going to be using the color Faint, which is just this brown color right here, which as you can tell I use a lot, and I'm going to be using that for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to lightly put it in the corner and work my way out, just kind of following the shape of my eyebrow. And not really doing too much because we don't want it to be too dark. Also using that same color, I am going to be doing it just from about the corner of my eye to about mid-eye. And I want to do that, you're just going to kind of blend it into the corner of your eye. With your finger. Your finger. <laughs> And do the same with your other eye. And if you want to make it a little bit darker, you know, you can always add more, which I normally add more, just to like the corner part. Our card. So now I'm going to be doing eyeliner. She does does a very thin liquid eyeliner on her top eyes. I personally can't do that on camera because. I am not a skilled person, but there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on how to put liquid eyeliner on. So, the liquid eyeliner I'm going to be using is 
from Mellow London Scandalize in the shade, I know it's the black one, in the shade, Ooh, I don't know, I don't know is. Blackest black, wow, I could never have guessed that one in a million years. Um, anyways, this is the waterproof one, so that's what it looks like. This is honestly probably like one of the easiest ones that I've ever used to apply top highlighter, so I'm just going to do a very, very thin line. Okay, so that's the eyeliner. Very fascinating. Okay, so next I'm going to be applying my mascara. So I'm going to be curling my eyelashes first with my Revlon Eyelash Curler. And the mascara I'm using is CoverGirl The Super Size Fibers. And this is in the shade Very Black. I love this mascara so, so, so much. And it lasts for a really, really, really long time. And this is what the brush looks like. And I love it. I like plastic applicators better than like the brush type applicator. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching a makeup tutorial video. <laughs> Just kidding. You really don't know what I'm talking about because I'm very bad at explaining things. But, oh well. Eleanor doesn't really put anything on her lips, um, so I'm just using this CoverGirl, it's like a chapstick type thing, it came with the 24 hour long lasting lip stain that they have, and that's what this came with, and it just, it's obviously chapstick but moisturizes, but it kind of like gives your lips a little bit of a shiny glow to them. Alright everybody, that was my video. Thank you for watching and dealing with my weirdness. I hope everybody has a good day and bye! I don't know what I'm doing. My friend just texted me. I'm sorry. I'm very distracted. Okay. So. First, we are going to start off with Eleanor's infamous braid that she likes to do. It's the one. Uh, ow. Words. It's a little mix on. Remember where I put my lip thing? Oh, I found it! I was just recording and realized that the camera wasn't on. So, that's basically the summary of my life.